so I'm starting. It's so it happens. No yeah, fuckers. Happens. No <laughs> bastard. No dirty animals. Bum, 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 bum. Are you gonna sing us a song, AK? Okay? As, as as our new. We had it coming. There we go. Um, we still need our theme song. I know. We're gonna come Here's up with Friday. a theme song someday. Amazing. <laughs> Friday night, they got a fight, fight. Roll the 20 see you guys first. Killing each other, that's the that's worst. Right. Friday night, they get five o'clock that day, 4 p.m. Central Time. <laughs> woogie, woogie. <laughs> Thank you for including the Central Time. Thank you for including the Central Time, my brother. You know, I, I'm time sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> the new invisible disability time sensitive well you know it's, like, it's not that's not wrong it's not right either it's also not right hi everybody um hello we everybody. are bevan's brothers creative and this is the friday melee friday Welcome. melee oh no um oh no we are running on that right in rainbow um, I rolled a 19 initiative. What about you guys? You rolled a 19 in ish. How about this? Yeah. Ooh. Rolled a big three with my modifier. That makes five. Mm. Guess who also rolled a 19? <laughs> sick, 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 sick. So I guess we have to have a roll off because we have the same dex mod. <laughs> or you could take a look at your ACs. What are you guys? Noobs? Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy a, a, a roll off. Wow, Fine. that was really good. Uh, this Oof. is a little, yeah, but I don't, I don't know what my AC is. This is a little thing we call roll initiative, where we just spend a, a few seconds talking about our day. And uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, Evan decided that last time even three minutes, one one minute a person was too long, so someone else will be timing it. I understand. Yeah. This is, you this know, is 2021. Nobody wants to hear about our, our day, our, our minute long day. Exactly. Nobody does. It's very true. Uh, Maybe too so are we, re, are, we ch are, doing, are we doing a challenge roll? Let's do a challenge or... roll because that's what, that's what dice are for. About that. That's, uh, I've already rolled my challenge. Okay, so, and what was? It was a four. Really bad. Ah, okay, great. So I, mine was uh, 11. Okay. That's still AK, so, though, right? No, uh, I, no, rolled I think five. that's decided between so, you and I who goes first or second. Who goes first, oh, yeah. Oh, so okay. that's you, then, then AK. Sorry, okay, AK. great. That is, yes, I get it now. All right, so this is a little thing that we call roll initiative and go. This is my week. Hi, my name is Matt. Uh, my thing this week is shoes. I have been trying desperately to get shoes, new shoes, because all of my shoes are kind of need to go. I need just a pair of like cloggy things and a pair of snow boots, and I can't find one that fits. My feet are either oh. too wide, too short, too long. I think one foot has grown a half a, a size. One foot has stayed the same. I, I, our house looks like like an annex to freaking Zappos. Time I'm serious. <laughs> I did it. Good work. I really did it. Thanks. You do have kind of strangely wide feet. I, can I do. To that. I, I didn't have, know that. I have a sideshow Bob feet. I've got long and skinny, <laughs> weird feet. So I get. I you get it. Comparing I love feet how, I love how much I'm about. learning about y'all these past few melees. I, <laughs> I had no idea that either of you had freaky feet. Freaky feet. Yeah, but, I had freaky uh, feet. I have yeah, freaky, I just fairly know. large feet for, for a woman. I wore a size 10. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Respect. Mm -hmm. You could fit what in a say lot of these shoes. Size okay. 10 shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but I, I don't know that my feet otherwise are freaky looking. So good to know that y'all are. Good to know. Oh, freak, super freak, super freak. Hi, Meg. Meg. Hi, Hi, Lindsay Jean. Meg. Welcome to the show. Uh, oh, it seems like it's um, Evan's turn then, right? Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. And go. Uh, yeah, this week. This week was a big week for all of us who hate hatred. 
uh, a new <laughs> a new beginning on Wednesday. Wasn't that great? Um, that was almost as good as a as Brian Michael Bendis liking a tweet that I tweeted today. Uh, someone had asked what was the best uh, fight sequence in comics. I offered up the Defenders number seven, Iron Fist versus Elektra. Uh, it took my breath away, which it actually did, and Brian Michael Bendis liked it. Time's uh, up. Damn. I can help my Damn it, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, do you want to explain who Brian, Brian Michael Bendis is, Biv? He's probably one of the most well-known modern comic writers. He's written uh, Spider... Well, he became famous for writing Ultimate Spider-Man, but he's gone. He actually doesn't write for Marvel anymore. Um, he created the character Miles Morales, if you are familiar with that. That mm -hmm. is his work. Um, he's amazing. He's funny and great... Mm -hmm. And if you've never read, if, you, if you're not really into super, like, cape superhero comics, get Ultimate Spider-Man. Start from the very beginning, mm -hmm. and you will fall in love. Even if you don't yeah. care about Spider-Man or whatever, you'll be like, wow, this is art. It's so good. Yeah, it really is. It's beautiful. Beautiful, war like, human moments. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Good. That's, that's some powerful news. All right. Last but not okay. least... We have our Are friend AK back though? with us again. Welcome back, Allison. Yeah. Thank you. Lead what, what have you been doing this week? And ready, steady. Ready and go. Go. Um, this week I have been recovering from being sick, which was so not fun. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Woo. I finished Firefly. Yay. I'm going to watch Serenity tonight. I started WandaVision. I finished Mandalorian. Um, can you guys tell that I spent a lot of quality time on my couch this week? I'm getting really <laughs> ornery. I can't figure out what to watch next. So drop a comment with whatever you think that I should tune into. It might be Doctor mm -hmm. Who. It might be something else. I don't really know. I got back on Twitter. I basically live tweeted the whole inauguration. I like that. You got back, back on Twitter. It. Yeah, I have not touched my Twitter in quite some time. Um, yeah. and Despite decided playing around, you I should act way more in than Matt and I did. You did, yeah, of yeah. TV watching. I have a question for you. Uh, oh, did what? your did your getting back on Twitter by any uh, chance coincide with somebody n never being allowed on Twitter again? Yes. That's actually exactly. Kinder, Twitter. That, that, was, that was my first tweet was like, is it is it safe to come is out? Is it safe again? Whispers <laughs> into the boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, and Evan was actually my first reply Andrew. back on Twitter. Oh, I saw it. Uh, welcomed oh, I me, saw welcomed me warmly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I used to tweet a lot. Like it's a big thing to do when you go to conferences and things to live mm. tweet. You know, you, you're you're on the hashtag mm -hmm. and you're trying to kind of be a little mini influencer of the conference. But since I don't really go to to conferences anymore, I don't yeah. really tweet anymore what, what so, other conferences would you frequent what kinds of conferences i did a lot of like back when i worked in the consulting world i would have to do like the microsoft you know all of those different conferences um mm -hmm. i went to salesforce one once um but yeah nothing terribly sexy <laughs> as did matt makes live, that thing you live me uh heroes con when when you came to heroes con with the, the one I did. Yeah, I was way too busy being overwhelmed at Heroes Con. It's a lot. <laughs> as you, can and you know what? That is like as I far as Comic Cons go, so, that that one is so small. On the I mean, if you if, if you ever went to C two E two, holy wow! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So so much fun. We'll see how oh, Dragon Con. My Good my Lord. my. Oof! I don't I don't know if I can. Dragon Con feels like a lot. I feel like I would be very overwhelmed. Yeah, I would probably lot. also and love it. it. That's not me. It's amazing. It, but yeah, it's, yeah, I, um, I would, I would go again if it ever. I, I feel like I would really have to like up my cosplay game. You know, like <laughs> Heroes Con, <laughs> we were cool all being there in our street clothes, but like I, I couldn't go to Dragon Con in good faith as Allison. Yeah, it just serious. wouldn't be good enough. Well, I so my first my first and only Dragon Con. I I didn't you know I just moved here. I, I you know I didn't have any costumes to wear. I didn't pull anything together. I went as myself, and I, I felt a little self conscious, but I also was not uncomfortable all day in a costume. I will say, if you're gonna roll and you don't want to be uncomfortable, do 
do what our, our good friends Katie Myers Wood and, and her beautiful wife Alice do, and they just go as the crazy eights from Kill Bill, them <laughs> and a posse of friends every year. That's all they do. Yeah. And it's perfect. So it's just black suit and you look awesome. Yeah. So right. whatever right. works. Right. That I'll take that under advisement. Well, yeah. I mean, we Next really time a Dragon Con without COVID. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, go. let's do it. Uh, we have a f couple of friends. In, in response to shoes, our friend Meg says, oh, wow, she, she makes it look serious. Post-pandemic, you need to get your feet measured. Your shoe size changes throughout your life. Meg, I did it not does. know this. So it does. I just discovered this, this this week as well because I'm just, I mean, Lindsay will tell you, I'm just a little like, what is happening? What is happening? Uh, so we looked it up, and you're right, Meg. Absolutely right. It happens. Your feet, it'll, they'll fall a little bit, of course. Um, and and they'll kind of flatten out maybe, and they'll definitely could grow an entire half size. It's ridiculous. Just one. Just the one. Does Just anything one. else keep growing as you get older? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Actually, yeah. Your oh, eyes stay the, your eyes are the same size from birth, but your nose and your ears never stop growing. Mm -hmm. um, so your eye, true. your eyes are the same size from birth. Your eyes are the same size from birth, but your nose Ew. and your ears never stop growing. With fully formed You're eyeballs. Born with those. Big old eyes that you got in your head. Speaking of mm -hmm. learning things about people, grew, grew up, up in a family, family yes. shoe store. What's the can I, shoe store called? Can I yeah, show off the, my, the shoes that I'm wearing today that I've worn pretty much every day for like the past six months or so? Sure. They're the best. Please. Ooh. Oh. My unicorn slippers. <laughs> <Wait, laughs> hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I need to get a. There we go. Get, really show that off. <laughs> Damn. My mommy gave these to me for Christmas last year. They've got a little tail on the back. They're very soft and fuzzy inside. Mm, I love God. these things. Uh, the uh, I, was, like, I was never a slipper girl until like the last year. And I, I, I love slippers now. I have so many pairs. So yeah, I guess one day yeah. I'll need to buy some shoes too like that once I venture out into the real world once more. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got gonna my first pair of slippers for Christmas this year. Mm -hmm. um, Elise got me a pair of slippers by the company Barber. It's a British company. Okay. I don't know if you're familiar. Mm -hmm. They make, it's kind of like Bur Burberry. I don't know if it's related at mm -hmm. all, but it's kind of like, old, like British, classic British menswear. Mm -hmm. And they were incredible, but they were too small. I guess my feet were growing mm -hmm. too. So, but yeah. they're out of stock for like forever. So oh. I, 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 oh, I no. not wearing any slippers right now, unfortunately. Oh. But when I do, one day. I'll have wonder you and have or wear our slippers at Dragon Con. How about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> only and, slippers. Nothing else. Only 99 slippers, degree heat, 2,000% humidity. <laughs> it's um, hot that I you really can make your feet. It's humanly possible. <laughs> yeah, let's get our mocks on. Um, I love that Lindsay has said, oh, good, I hate having a small nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah yeah that's true i i, I guess i've never that... paid attention to your wife's nose size matt only she does honestly it's oh, a perfect I, nose I, it is i've a always perfect... thought that Lindsay, yeah had a perfect nose so yeah that's a perfect it, nose okay mm-hmm Mark my words. Um, right. Fun. Uh, oh, by the way, for those of you wondering, uh, Meg Anderson King's uh, store was Anderson, which makes sense, Anderson Shoes in Newberry. Oh, it was open for 103 freaking years. Oh, That's amazing. Dang. When we see Newberry. each other again, Meg, we're going to have to tell stories. I can't believe I didn't know that. Did you get Newberry, free shoes? South Carolina? I hope you got free shoes. Jesus. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, was your allowance? Did you get paid a, your allowance in shoes? <laughs> and you're like, Mom and Dad, what I want is a my the guy's shoes. I don't want these it. shoes. Rock. These, these shoes, shoes, shoes rock. Oh my gosh, shoes. <laughs> oh my god, shoes. Oh my gosh, shoes. Um, um, well, while we're waiting to hear from Meg, we do we do actually have a very now um, mostly because Allison's with us again. Thank God. Uh, we have you a. We have a fairly... like I was gone for some time. It was one week, y'all. One like week it. is one enough. Week, like Our souls, yeah, just crumble <laughs> up. 
Yeah, uh, South Meg Carolina. said yes, South Carolina. Yeah. I almost went to Newberry College. That was almost my my choice, and then I was wow. like, nah, not going to do that. So, well, I worked. Fun fact. I worked at Mayberry's in Winston Salem. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so <laughs> let's see. Um, we've got a few things, right, Allison? We do. We've got we've got some segments. We've got we, some we, segments. We planned ahead. We practiced. Yes. Uh, this this week we asked you guys to um, to please write into our melee bag, which is sort of uh, um, uh, you ask us questions. They could be serious, but oftentimes they're not, which is also great. And we try to answer them on air live. So we've got that coming up. But we start with right. We start with uh, uh, a segment that we like to call "Is it awesome." Oh, we're starting. Are we starting with this one? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Do Great. It. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's called. It's called. Is it awesome? Because this one's easy, and I really want. I want. I want to have some actual like meaning to your your segment, segment Allison. This one's very silly. Oh, okay. Let's get the silly stuff over first. Um, uh, but yeah, so in uh, uh, Is It Awesome, we find something in the real world, and we try to decide: is it is the concept awesome? Is the packaging awesome? Uh, you know, just kind of break it down. And so this week, um, we are featuring this uh, little device that I got for Christmas called the light bowl. <laughs> um, so, uh, as as many of you may know, uh, I'm a big fan. We're, like my household is a big fan of like toilet gear. We have a we have a bidet. And uh, which I, I I don't care what you think it is, it is magical. I think everybody should have a bit, bidet. But anyway, uh, so this thing came came from Santa. Uh, this thing is called the original light bowl, eight colors in one device. You clamp it on to your toilet. Oh, it's so bad. I'm so jealous of this. <laughs> and and then it just like it's it's light it's a uh, light sensitive and oh, I'm sorry motion detecting. So, boom, let, let me get a little close up on the side of what this thing does. It fits any toilet, gives you midnight convenience. <laughs> also, right here for day, but accidents. <laughs> remind, just light up light in up. the dark. It, what does that even light mean? Up in dark. I, remind. Yeah, like, remind. The grammar here is. Because uh, so it first is of all. Oh. Yes. Okay, already oh we're getting a little hit on this. Sarah, our friend Sarah, who who watches, says that uh, her husband also got one. And it is, it is great, that. isn't it? It's yes. really great. You walk into the bathroom. You don't, we no longer have to turn on the light because it is, it is bright. Uh, you don't have to, no longer have to turn on the light. It just, the, the toilet just glows. It's ready for you. It glows. You cannot, Ugh. I don't think you can change the color. So it's just sort of a rainbow of, of luminous. <laughs> the like packaging feels get, otherwise, Matt. You get what you get. Oh, it does. Well, we, yeah, we the just, package I, maybe says we just decided. Yeah, the package you can choose or rotate. Okay, so. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you, well, we wanted the rotate because, and you need okay. the rotate. However, That's I do, right. we, Allison did, <laughs> Allison did find an example of somebody who obviously likes just the red version. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so hang on, hang on, hang on. Yikes. <laughs> break down what is that. So wait, bring up the, the box again. All right, okay. And, and Just explain to me. A the couple, side of the box or the things. whole thing? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's good. So yeah. it clips onto the side yes. of the bowl. But where does yeah. the light is coming out of it? Yeah. So actually, uh, yeah, hmm. I, I wish I should have actually taken work? a real life picture. Yeah, so basically, yeah. what's happening is y you you got it. It's like so. Here's the here's the toilet bowl here, and it's just a clamp, and so the LED goes down into the toilet, and then it's actually not Ooh. that big, and then it has like a, along the side, very flat, and then it's like the motion sensor is on the other side, so it knows. It's very sensitive too. So you walk into the bathroom and it just, just bright blue, glorious. Oh, so you don't have pink. to open the lid. Like as soon as you get near it, it starts. Exactly. Going. Yeah. If you go into a dark, okay. so it's it's light and motion 
sensitive. So it, it doesn't come turn on in the, in, in the daytime. So it's both light and it's a night light and it's also motion sensitive. So it turns on when you come in. But, but uh, it's inside the bowl. So can you, can you, will you do your business do the bathroom on to it? No, no. I mean, yes. I mean, I guess men could pee on it. You could pee on it. Okay. But it no, it's but it's don't. very discreet. <laughs> it's, but 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 you know, I mean, no, you okay. no, it's okay. it's 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 very thin and discreet, and you can't really see the actual LED really because you can kind of mold it to the side, and it just boom, this light. Yeah. yeah. This this comment. Oh, what about your head so between? What? Uh, read see Lindsay's comment. You can tuck okay, your head yeah. between your legs and watch the color show. <laughs> okay, so here here's some practical questions. One, uh, so you were saying that it, it comes on and it just it starts this rainbow loop, mm -hmm. or is it every time it comes on it's a different color? Roy G. Biv. <laughs> no, every single time, every single time Roy G. Biv. It starts going like one. Yeah. Rear, rear. Okay, that's mm -hmm. great. Um, secondly, uh, when you when you step in, say you're it's pitch dark because I know you guys have like the blackout windows and everything. You like it very dark in your, yeah. your bedroom. Well, um, yeah. So I, when I get up to go pee in the middle of the night, let's say uh, I've gotten very good. I can just do it in the dark. Right? I don't see. Mm -hmm. I can't see a damn thing. Like a cat. And I don't really want. I don't have a nightlight in the bathroom. Yeah. So I just I know my way around. When that light comes on, does it kind of make you more awake, more uncomfortably awake? No. Or is it so soothing? that's the other nice thing. It's yet... very, it's very soothing. Lindsay, uh, Sarah, ch chime in because because it is soothing. It is. I, I know exactly what you're talking about, Biv. Like if you're a middle of the night waker upper, and you just like any kind of light could make that process worse and then you go back to bed and you can't go back to sleep this does not do that that's what i love about it because you you kind of walk in it's certainly bright enough to see what you're doing but because of the colors it's as if you have like a like a uh you know a color you know <laughs> color grit what do they call it the, a skim no you know what i'm saying it colorizes things, so it's it's very it's very muted, but it's bright enough, and so yeah, it doesn't it doesn't psh, blue light you or anything. That okay, makes sense. okay, I All recommend right. them. Now I really do. You could hook it up to Alexa. Alexa, use the bathroom for me. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That would be amazing. Well, I love this. I, I will go ahead and pass my vote, but this is, in fact, awesome. <laughs> Anna says, the toilet is ready for you. <laughs> you could be on it. You could I'm be not on okay. It. <laughs> the toilet is ready for you. So what are we saying here? Are we saying that it's awesome? It's awesome. That's I'm no saying, question. I'm just going to say, spoiler, it's awesome. Uh, it's, it's awesome. so great. You know, you have a firsthand experience with this, so, so yeah. True. We are objectively saying it's awesome. You are subjectively saying it's awesome. Everyone out there, <laughs> let us know what you think. Yes. Um, is it awesome? I will say that, that would be a tough sell for Elise. She's she, like, if I left my uh, my electric toothbrush plugged in and it has a, a glow to it uh, mm -hmm. at night, she's not having that. Like, if she has to wow. get up and go and see that, then she's like, no, that's too much. So, so I'm, I, she doesn't like that. No. So I'm guessing she won't go for this. So I'm just going to have to. Uh, just be a little bit, um, a little bit jealous. Yeah. And I just made uh, it just roommates Alexa very confused. Alexa, <laughs> play honky tonk, badonka donk. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Okay, what's next? Yeah, what is next? Yeah, I'll, I'll save that. I had an idea, but I'll save that for the next time. Uh, I think what is up next is a brand. New segment that we came up with. I don't. Why did Why did you put me after you? I can't follow that. <laughs> yes, you can. This is you this is to this talk is about what we get. Hell mouth. I have to talk about something real now. We brought, I have to rein we brought, it in. It's no, okay. this is serious. We're gonna bring it back. We're gonna rein it in. And get serious. We're gonna bring it back. Yeah, this is this is the way it works. Like people are like, wait, what are they talking about? Glowing toilets? And then and then they're they're hooked. And then you're like, look, I'm serious. Boring. I've been learning things. This is a new segment that we call 
Level up. Level, level up. up. <laughs> uh, and we call it level up because um, all of we? us, every every member of the the BBC BBC Nerdland, uh, every every member uh, has been studious, very studious in the last couple of weeks, last few weeks. Um, as months I mentioned even. last time, mm, yeah, months, months for sure. Yeah, pandemic, pandemic age, just a pan, pan age. Uh, we've all been very studious, and we have recently sort of not not officially, maybe not not absolutely a hundred percent, but as close as we possibly can, going into a a a full web flow uh, shop is kind of what we want to do. We still have some projects that are. That are other things, uh, WordPress, of course, but we're thinking of that this is going to be the most comfortable space for us. And so Allison has been taking classes, and so we wanted to mm -hmm. kind of just do this thing and show off what Allison has been doing. Allison, do you want to say something before I show your homework? <laughs> nice. <laughs> we're very proud great. of you. This is important. This is this is good. This is, this is inspiring. Well, so, yeah. So I have uh, decided to take on um, learning how to be a web designer. So I am taking it's an eighteen hour course on a website called Skillshare. Fun fact: I actually work part time for Skillshare, but I think it's a really, really, really cool website where you can learn everything from how to make a macrame plant holder to how to do web design. It's fantastic. So, found this great course that is basically soup to nuts web design from how to use a, uh, a platform called Figma, where you kind of prototype and lay things out to then actually getting into Webflow and, and building a website from there. Um, so that's what I've been up to. Uh, Matt, can you show off my hot teacher? I really oh, want to introduce the teacher you guys first. To, okay, yes, yeah. yes, that's, that's important. You guys, okay, Devaco, he's my new crush. I love, <laughs> I love everything about this guy. He's 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 killing it. Uh, he's so smart, so funny. It's great. Um, yeah, so Vaco has handsome. been. He's he's a handsome, handsome dude. So look at that like perfect scruff right there. I mean, just gets. <laughs> it's very tailored. It's very mm -hmm. groomed. Um, but very, very good. And he's really, he's fantastic at just breaking pretty difficult concepts down into really simple, easy to digest steps. So I've been doing these daily assignments and bringing them to Evan every morning on our standups to kind of show off and, and show what I've been doing. So we thought we would share some of the assignments with you guys so you can see exactly what I'm working on. So yes. Um, we So one of the very first things that we did in the class was all around typography. So just how to, to pick the right uh, typeface to kind of match the mood to hopefully not annoy your web traffic. You know, if you use some kind of like kiddish scribble or like overly scripty that's hard to read um, versus if you just use like straight up like Times New Roman and just make it boring, like um, everything that you can kind of say. Um, so this exercise that you're looking at right now, these were, you know, the, the assignment was kind of like, these are headings on a website, pick a font that kind of matches the feel and then in the little yellowish boxes to the side, I had to, I had to explain my choices. Um, so I won't go through these one by one, but we did just kind of want to show you kind of what one of my first assignment was to think through this, you know, as how I would as a designer, um, you know, work with a client to, to match their brand online. Uh, you don't, and then you don't Evan, have to, let me jump in for a second. And you don't have to go through every one, but I would like to hear you talk about okay. some of these font choices for and describe the client and the font choice and, and use your design language to tell us use why. Use my design language. Yeah, use your design <laughs> language to tell us why you just you can just pick one if you want. Yeah, um, yeah. but I, I want to hear. I, wanna, I love that. Let me put you on the spot. Um, okay. Okay. Here we go, Matt. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, um, I I really I loved the one that I chose for right there in the middle of the page, summer holidays. Um, mm -hmm. And I chose that font because when you think about going on a holiday, you know, first of all, summer, it's light, it's breezy. Um, mm -hmm. So I really kind of wanted to go with a thinner weight font. Um, and I just kind of liked this one because it felt really vintage without being like overdone to me. Um, you know, mm -hmm. I kind of pictured myself in like a, you know, rented, uh, convertible top down, you know, big ass sunglasses, polka dot scarf in my hair, you know, <clears throat> take off, you know, on a holiday with the girls. And that's kind of what this, you know, that was the mood 
um, that this one set for me. So that's why I, I chose the, the font that I chose for summer holidays. Vintage, playful, light. Love it. Do. Love it. Love it. That's great. Yeah. Here's the thing for those of you out there in the world <laughs> who who are may not be designers, the world of of typography is a design job in and of itself, mm -hmm. right? You know, dealing, designing letter forms and all of that. So when I look at summer holidays, um, or when I look at, at fonts, especially for uh, a brand, let's <laughs> say, you're you're thinking about the the thickness, like like Allison was saying, like it's a thin weight. It makes her think of breeziness and light airiness. Uh, I also noticed that the E was tilted on its axis, and that kind of gives you that some of that playful, irreverent, um, you know, kind of casualness. It's you know not just a standard block E um, where everything's symmetrical. Um, yeah, I mean, there's it's it's typography. It's it is so complicated. There's uh, pairing <coughs> font can be one of the toughest decisions for a web designer, particularly, or a print designer, um, knowing there's certain set rules to apply to, but then breaking those rules as well. So uh, I, in this case, okay, actually all the examples that you put forward, I thought they were all really terrific and really got at the, um, the essence of what you were going for. So check plus. Bravo. Thanks, Dave. Check plus plus. Um, yeah. It sounds like a really great um, course, though. It is. Um, I want to yeah, take, take it. I want to take it. So, Will, if you guys are interested, if this was an interesting segment, let us know, and we can kind of, yeah. as the weeks go on, share share more and more of the exercises. So, you know, we started with typography and learning about those choices. Then we moved into picking colors. What does, you know, color theory represent and how do you pair complementary colors um, into picking the right photos, uh, how to crop photos. Um, it's, it's really been fun on the design front. So now this week I've had to kind of put everything I've learned together and just design a page from scratch and it's breaking my brain, but I will, mm -hmm. I will get through it. Yeah. Um, and then once I've done that, then I get to move on into Webflow. Hmm. Yeah, um, ready for your crane to get broken. Our MVP of the day, Meg Anderson King, uh, said this, married a man who started off as an ergonomics guy and now does UX. And <clears throat> that's exactly what Evan was saying, as far as I'm concerned. It's just, it is, it's life. You know, ergonomics mm -hmm. is the user experience of something more physical, Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Meg. I need though. I, I know that that's not what he does anymore. But but ask him what he thinks about the LG Ergo monitors because I really want to know if he's <laughs> if he's even looked into it. I really want to know. Uh, but yeah, like lifestyle choices and, and choices that you you think on a human level. Absolutely, because UX is. I mean, you could almost make the point that accessibility is the is an ergonomics, <laughs> you know, a parallel to. To web design. Yeah. So I wish, wanna, I, wish, I, I wish our good friend Alpha Bias was here. She is the, oh, yeah. um, the chief experience officer for Stanford Hospital, and mm -hmm. this is exactly what they do. It's it you mm -hmm. know it blurs the line between like it's design thinking for patients, yep. and talk about ergonomics. I mean, she would tell me about concepts of, like. Um, you know, if you've ever been in a hospital, you've you've had an IV in your arm and you've got the rack with the drip in it, right? And mm -hmm. if you're in there for any length of time and you want to, or you want or need to move around, walk around and move your body, that's a pretty mm -hmm. crappy experience to be <laughs> kind of like mm -hmm. up that. So how do we improve upon that? Well, what if that was a backpack? <clears throat> And so that's mm. kind of cool. That's like the mix between user experience and ergonomics. And uh, anyway, mm. love it. Uh, okay, yeah. It's it's cool because it's it's something you you don't necessarily think about it when it's good, right? Mm -hmm. But you know when something's bad. Like it's why that's... we all make fun of Comic Sans. Like we all know yeah. that that's a bad font. We all know not to use papyrus but we don't necessarily all know, you know, which ones to use. So it's an interesting mm -hmm. study, both from a user experience 
um, as well as from a design is, is, is how to make people feel comfortable when yeah. they, you know, interact with, with whatever it is. Um, so That's yeah. true. I'm into it. Well, good. Congrats. James Cameron didn't exciting. get the uh, papyrus notes. <laughs> he did not. No. That's fine. That's fine. That, He'll be okay. That's okay. Church, the church van vinyl siding papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay, what's next, you guys? Speaking of humans, Melee bag. we have a segment oh. called Melee Bag, where we get to um, communicate with with you guys, um, which is always fun. And we had a f we had a form that we put out that you would write in and ask questions. And so, are we are we are we randomizing this, Allison? Oh, oh you... no! I've just already picked some of my favorites. Okay, <laughs> well, Allison has picked her favorites. She is, she is the dungeon master in this, in this situation, mm -hmm. which is yeah. exactly what we need. All right. So um, I'm gonna see the yeah. first one. I'm very interested to hear. So here's here's what about the melee bag? We all have access to it, but to my knowledge, Matt and Evan don't ever go read them ahead of time. I do though because I'm a nerd. <laughs> um, so this will probably be a surprise to the two of you, but I can't wait to hear mm -hmm. what you have to say. I'm also very interested in our audience members answering this for us. So please drop a comment uh, and show your work. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> okay. Yes. From our good friend Fitz, who we play D&D with every single week. Mm -hmm. Who would be the champion in a Biv Bros creative team battle royale? <laughs> You mean like a physical Bib fight? Bros creative. Uh, <clears throat> who would be a champion in a design? Who would Wait, be what the champ? Again? No, just a champion. She didn't qualify. Okay. Who would be the champion in a Bivens Brothers creative team battle royale? Oh, sorry, battle royale. That's important. Like, like a physical, physical. So we, the, us plus Lindsay, we get into a ring and we fight to the death. Who's who's I mean, taking home? Who's, it's who's coming out on top? Definitely not me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I actually, I actually think that Evan, you might be my pick for this. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Honestly, Why? because you're 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 both strong and scrappy. Mm -hmm. um, you also <laughs> don't give a hoot or a toot. Like I feel like oh. you might That's fight the point. dirtiest of all of us. <laughs> and Ooh, I think that we're going to have about, no honor. <laughs> uh, you know, I fight with agents of honor. chaos. Um, that, I, I, I that just, I think that, yeah, I, 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 I give this one to Evan. Actually, I, I absolutely, I absolutely concur. I would say, Evan is, you know, he is. I would say the most health focused of all of us. He is. You have been trained in the martial arts when you were small. It just would come. It would just come. You would you literally would kick our ass. Wait, put that in perspective. That was over thirty years ago. <laughs> yeah, but it comes back. It's like riding a bike. You could still it, break my nose. Is it? Well <laughs> I could do that without martial arts. Thirty year old martial arts training. That's a good point. Um, That's well, a good point. gosh, guys. Thanks. I guess yeah. we have our answer. <laughs> uh, well, what's your, what's your answer? And anybody watching, who, who who's who's your big money going to for? Exactly. Well, <laughs> <I'll>... <laughs> that's why I said you have to show your work. I'll, I'll rumble on you. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna sweep, sweep the leg. leg. Good work, Jesse. <laughs> yes, uh, we're definitely yeah. just definitely sweep leg leg and sweeping. Um. So you got another one for us. I loved that question. I, so wait, Evan's not going to answer. Oh, I, I mean, I thought answer. it was. I want to know. He's in agreement. I thought it was. I thought it was AK. Oh, so he can't oh, deny. Yeah? Yeah. Why is Brian? it me? Oh, you feel oh, like you're, you're the most tenacious. I'm the most hmm. what? Tenacious. I'm just uh, you know, like just never going to give up. Just 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 pummel them and then you know. Fire hands, burning hands. Just let the <laughs> burning hands rip and crisp. Yeah. Good. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks for your votes of confidence. Yeah. 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 And, look, can we cut to my Rocky sequence where I'm in training? Yeah, <laughs> yes. that would be amazing. Well, that's yeah, that's fantastic. Burning. Mm -hmm. Here, right. 
that would be my other like is are we coming in here just as us as humans are we coming in here as our you know we kind of built our characters yeah you know evan's the arcane trickster i'm the bard uh uh matt i still can't say what the heck you are artificer did i do that right yeah artificer Artificer. i'd never artificer hey bernie (laughs) bernie that's him I love it. Wow. What okay. else? What's next? Um, all right. I should have thought about this one, and so now I'm going to be put on the spot. Um, but I really love this question from Amy Cox. What mm-hmm. superhero do you personally identify with the most? Ooh, this is tough. I mean, I feel it's like tough. the low hanging fruit for me here is Catwoman, but mm. I can probably do a better answer. Than that maybe not maybe that's maybe that's it um catwoman that's a great choice it's a solid that is choice a great choice um it's so hard to get past my just my personal favorite superhero yeah. but there a lot of superheroes have such tragic uh backgrounds mm-hmm. it's hard to like identify mm-hmm. with them. um mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I don't know if he counts as a superhero, but I'd say one of my favorite comic characters is a, a guy named Yorick from the book Why the Last Man. And he's just goofy. He's just a goofball. Mm-hmm. Um, very funny and sassy, but um, he's just trying to do the right thing. So that's the first thing that kind of comes to mind. But he's not really a superhero. He's just a, a dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He is in comic book though. He's in comic book, but I think she's saying uh, Amy, superhero. I don't like to hear what, who Amy identifies with, but I know. Um, what about yeah? You? Oh, Amy's not. She's not on today. She had other plans. Oh. Dang, Amy. Oh, Lizzie, Lizzie says, <laughs> "Which one is the one that swears all the time?" <laughs> uh, there's more. Than, there's more than one. There's a lot of cussing in comics these days. I mean, they bleep yeah. it out, but, but you know, Wolverine. He cusses all the time. Um, mm. Yeah, brother. Mm. I mean, there's just so many. I I mean, this. Uh, so the question, is, oh, oh, of course, she knew this. We were going to take it too seriously, right? Because we really, because we actually know about the superheroes. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I, I would love to fly, yeah. so I'm Superman. That would be the best easy answer. Yeah. And scene, right? Like, that would be oh, awesome. Yeah. But. But no, right. uh, so I'm going to have, I'm going to say Spider-Man for reasons uh, just that w- if, the, if the question is, who do I relate to the most? And mm-hmm. that's who I relate to because Spider-Man is, uh, is, is, you know, scrappy. Money has never been a big part of his thing. So, you're, you know, I don't, I can't relate to Batman. There's so many, <laughs> like Superman, I can't I relate to aliens or anything like that. But to be a nerd which Spider-Man is, and Mm -hmm. to suddenly wake up and and have to deal with all these issues of life. Um, Yeah, I think think Spidey. And then the other thing is just the the desire to do good, which not not all of them really feel, but it is uh, is actually a big part of my life. It's just that feeling. And even when I'm not actively doing it, but just like saying why why can't that person make the right decision <laughs> why can't that experience be uh good why can't we strive towards that um so yeah i know i know i kind of thought you, you, you i kind of thought you were i kind of thought you were going to say iron man yeah but see i don't i i can't i mean the tinkering part like the gearhead yeah. part sure yeah sure mm-hmm. but the but again, like the the you know alcoholic, super rich, I, yeah, because that's that's who superheroes are to me. I, I think I think I have my oh, answer. God. It's not Nerd. it's not Catwoman. Okay. Now that we're right. internalizing this, yeah, yeah, I we're think, it too, I think, way too far. I think I'm going for me with Bruce Banner, the Hulk, Ooh. the kind of like when provoked can hulk out you know and and rise mm. the occasion and whatever way that means um but kind of has to work pretty hard to to stay at a hum otherwise 
Um, and also just kind of like the two sided of like, you know, the, the people who know me best might have a different impression of me than the people who don't. Hmm. Wow. I like that. I like okay. that. Okay. That's a good answer. All right. Did you change anything, Ben? Did you, did you give us one? Uh, <clears throat> well, he wasn't a superhero, but I, I'll stick with Yorick. Okay. Stick with Yorick. He's All a right. comic okay. book character rather than a superhero. Uh, uh, yeah. He's a superhero. He ends up being a superhero. I like it. He does save all of mankind in the end, but not through any skill <laughs> right. or talent, <laughs> just by right. him showing up and being there. So that's... <laughs> yeah. there that's strength right there. Jesse wants to see a yeah. K-Hulk out. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should have said Iron Fist since I had Taekwondo training when I was nine. <laughs> 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 I do like Iron Fist. I do like Iron Fist yeah. quite a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good one. Uh, AK, you might also, if you're not familiar with the character She-Hulk, you might check her out. Uh, particularly, okay. there's a run by, ooh, what's her name? She-Hulk. Is it Marika? Uh, Evan's going to make a, a comic book reader yeah, out of Marika me. Yeah, Marika actually... Okay. There's a. There's he a, bought me the my by, first. Uh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, um, if you check out She Hulk, skip all the mm -hmm. the ones where it's like super big boobs and like really kind of weirdly, you know, it's pretty not, weird. Pretty <laughs> Skip to a writer named Mariko Tamaki, and she does a run where Jennifer Walters, who is Bruce Banner's cousin, she becomes She-Hulk mm -hmm. because she gets her a blood transfusion, and then she's hulked out. But she, unlike him, she doesn't typically, she can just kind of control it, become Hulk out whenever she wants. And she, she's still smart. She's not animalistic until later in mm -hmm. life. And she goes through this very, she's struggling emotionally, and she starts to lose control. And it's... It's it's just a really I think a powerful book written by a woman speaking to women's rage in a way that you don't mm -hmm. see particularly in comics mm -hmm. very often and yeah. uh, it's really really great so and the art's All right. incredible so check out Mariko to my I will look that up. Uh, I was just saying that you're bound and determined to make a comic book reader out of me. Evan brings up a comic book I should read daily. He bought yeah. me my first one when we went to Heroes Con because he was like, he kind of became my comic matchmaker, like started interviewing me as soon as we got on the floor <clears throat> to figure yeah. out like where where he should lead me. Um, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> so I will. I love it. I will take Heath and say. <laughs> check it, check it out. No, okay, what's next? Say... All right. Um, let's hear from our, our MVP, Meg Anderson King has a, a great question that I feel like at the very least, Matt will have a good answer for. Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, all right, let me, okay, ready? What is your favorite fancy pen for people who are new to fancy writing implements? Ooh. Bonus points for pens that cost less than $10. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite fancy pen? Sorry, fancy pen for people that know nothing about fancy pens? that are new to fancy pens. Uh, yes, um, that is a great, great question. So your your comment, Meg, about it having you know, bonus points for under $10 uh, definitely does um, <laughs> uh, knock it down a little bit. I'm, I'm having to look up a couple of things because I just want to get the names right. But um, there are some, there is some Pens that are not super fancy, that are fantastically st like standards, super high standards, really smooth writing. Let me find a find a. Also, let me give a shout out to a Chicago place called Anderson Pens in Chicago. They are great. They're great people. The shop itself is amazing. Okay, uh, f uh, let's see. I I'm gonna actually look fountain pens under. Let's say Lindsay know. is Lindsay is sharing some of her knowledge in the comments. Juice up, Ju juice up. 
<laughs> okay, Sarah. Wait, Sarah Mason Walden has called. This is it. This is mine. <laughs> the pilot okay. precise. V5. The pilot precise. Yeah. And also flares. I I always have flares on me. They're not fancy pens, but these are the only two pens that I write with right here. Pilots and flares. While I Matt's just looking f- his stuff up. <laughs> yeah. So the the one the ones that I that I love the most, and it is not under ten dollars, but it is a beautiful pen, and my incredible wife gave me like a, a huge slew of them for uh, for Christmas a couple of years ago, and um, uh, they have allowed me. For those of you who um, know that I write out lyrics, uh, band lyrics, sometimes with these fancy pens, they're all done. That brand is called Karis Customs, and sometimes it K A R A S Customs, and sometimes I I I recommend that you start a little bit more expensive than than ten bucks, just because when you get a really really good pen, it kind of changes everything. Just like a really good knife, you know, it's like there are good knives, and then there's a pen that's like oh. Boom, I get it, right? I totally get it. So Kara's Customs, definitely my personal favorite. Um, but let's go down. So yeah, Lamy. Lamy is a brand that makes fairly inexpensive pens. Maybe not under 10, but probably like, tw- you could probably find them for 20 or 30. Uh, they have, they're, they're plastic, so they're light. They don't feel great, but the nibs are great. So I would definitely go Lamy. Uh, Pilot Metropolitan is a fountain pen too that is that is uh really pretty good pretty good i mean you're gonna find like little idiosyncrasies with some of those fountain pens if you're kind of doing that but those are the three that i kind of reach for all the time and those are fountain pens but i that's what i prefer to use i would definitely definitely say yes to juice up i would definitely say yes to the pilot precises um yeah, Lamy. Yeah, Lamy, Lamy. That's how you spell it too, Meg. L A M Y. It's it's a classic. It's got like you can get them in all kinds of cool colors, and you can get them in different um, size nibs. So extra fine, fine. Yeah, I know you didn't ask for a full lesson on pens, but there are German nibs and there are Japanese nibs. So those are really the two main ones. And so it's kind of like, do you prefer a German car or a Japanese car? And it's kind of <laughs> very similar. Uh, but yeah, that's what I would say. Have fun with that. Man. <laughs> what? This show, is this show not about nerds? Is this show not about nerds? I lo- no, I, I, there is no shade here. That was me loving how yeah. just deep and introspective we've gotten on superheroes, yeah. pens, battle royales. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm just That's trying to goes. illustrate how I felt on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, hold on. Let me let me <laughs> let me full full screen that. Yeah. That's what you felt like when I talked about pants. <laughs> wow. After after the ten minute mark, that's how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is coming yeah, from a guy uh, who hasn't touched a pen in maybe 20 years. Yeah, and a guy who absolutely uh, uh, knows what it's like Can't when write. people talk for 10 minutes straight about something. So, uh, takes one to know one, and <laughs> yeah. Uh, true. true. No, pens are, pens are great. Pens are absolutely great. Um, and Dear, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you guys for those amazing questions. Uh, you know, you know how to unlock the nerd and us. Yeah, good work. Good work, everybody. I... Yes. Oh, I was just going to say, brother, I appreciate your love of pens. You've got amazing handwriting. <laughs> everybody knows it. <laughs> no, if I, I if I had really great handwriting, I probably would be excited about pens too. I have better handwriting than our good friend Ward, which is not saying a lot. <laughs> You actually, um, that's not true. Evan has, you have pretty great handwriting. I mean, no, you, you, no, you just, it's, it's just nothing no. you've worked on, but you, when you get like, really, really, I mean, you've got that natural talent. It's good. No, no, <laughs> this is not, it's not true. 
That's okay. I don't need to. I don't need to. That's your thing. That's your thing. Okay. Right. <laughs> Lindsay says, wow, this got dark. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Okay. Listen. Okay, let's when you talk on. about pens. When you talk about pens. <laughs> I get very serious. You're talking about yeah. pens, your day gets dark as hell. Uh, guys, we got five minutes. Yeah, we've got five um, minutes. Yeah. So well, anything else five you need to share? Six o'clock, it was initially going to be a 30 minute show. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, what's up? What's up, you guys? <laughs> what's up? I like I like when I'm the quiet one. Like that's <laughs> that's when you know that we're like in the upside down very officially. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll say what's up. We appreciate everybody, every single person that comes and 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 asks us questions and listens to us talk about dumb things and and, and yeah. is genuinely interested. So we appreciate you so much. Uh, I'm going to go eat some pizza. Evan is going to eat don't know yet actually mm -hmm. we had our burgies on wednesday on our oh. celebration of new america day uh, <laughs> and then allison is going to eat i think i'm between burgies and thai Ooh, very different thai directions good. Mm. yeah you could combine them but evan evan <clears throat> No, evan evan talks about burgies so much and i noticed that my favorite burgie place I really love this week's special burgie. They have a weekly special that rotates. Ooh. So it might be what a burgie. It, it might be a, a, this week it's a pimento and pork belly um, burgie. Mm. Well, a Whoa. burger wow. with those things on it. And I love this Whoa. place because they have the best You're gonna Brussels sprouts. Bowl that lights up for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we have talked about toilets. <laughs> So much I'm today. Out. Like I won't even yeah. I won't even get y'all <laughs> into what we talked about before the melee. <laughs> we could, and then Evan's gone. Evan's gone. Goodbye. But. He's on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> he might actually be on. Um we love Drop you guys so much. And the deuce. Yeah. Don't ever do that again. Like, again. But we love it. Thank you guys um, for putting up with us and our talk of us. toilets, burgies, pizza, yeah. pens, yeah. yeah. Um, code and 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 going to school. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Correct. Until then. That's right.